on guys, Sam Adams here and welcome back to another episode of The Drop. I hope this video finds you well and I hope you had a fantastic Easter if you do choose to celebrate it. Uh, but today we're getting back into all of the gaming news with the hottest gaming releases coming out this week on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the PC, whatever it may be. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, before we get into our headliner for the week, we have Minute coming out on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Minute is a peculiar little adventure game played 60 seconds at a time. Journey outside the comfort of your home to help unusual folk uncover countless secrets and overcome dangerous foes, all in hopes of lifting a rather unfortunate curse that ends each day after just one minute. When it comes to Minute, it's hitting me where it all counts. Number one, you've got a beautiful looking pixel style game. I love that kind of thing. Number two, uh, you also have some randomly generated elements within the game that keep the gameplay fresh, keep you coming back for more and number three very fast paced short rounds 60 seconds at a time is all you need you can play as many rounds as you would like as few rounds as you would like this one hits all of the elements that i need to fit a game like minute into my gameplay schedule so if this sounds like something you might be interested in minute is coming out on the playstation 4 the xbox one and the pc this week next up we have our headliner for the week which is sir eats a lot coming to the playstation vita sir eats a lot is a 2d adventure platformer with a strong focus on level exploration which is currently developed exclusively for the playstation vita you you are the corpulent but righteous knight Sir Eats a Lot. Traverse 13 different levels and find the evil witch Hysterica who poisoned Gluttington Kingdom with bitter lemonade to stop her. Aside from the poorly written press release, this is a very interesting game specifically because of the way that it is being released. Um, this is not a game that should be coming out on the PlayStation Vita exclusively in 2018. That should be tacked on as a bonus uh, for those that have been waiting for a very long time. This game needs to come to the Switch if it wants to survive and I'm not sure why the developers uh, were so hard hard pressed to release it exclusively on the PlayStation Vita. It just doesn't make sense in my mind. Uh, but the game itself is gorgeous. I love the art style of the game. The gameplay looks solid. It's pretty much, as it says, an adventure platformer that focuses on level exploration. It is hitting everything in the right way, but it's just on the, on the Vita. And I know that in the past, I've been a huge proponent of the Vita, and I still have mine sitting behind me. This is a, I'm recording this the day that I sell my Nintendo Switch, okay? I still have a Vita sitting behind me. I don't understand why this game is coming out on that platform as opposed to something like the Switch that is hitting a mass audience or even the 3DS as well. I don't, I don't get it. But with that being said, for those of you still rocking it out on Vita Island, you can check out Sir Eats a Lot when it comes out on the PlayStation Vita this week exclusively. Again, shocking. Next up, we have Terra coming out on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Terra is at the forefront of a new breed of MMO with true action combat, aim, dodge, and time your attacks for intense and rewarding tactical combat. Add the deep social experience of an MMO to best-in-class action combat mechanics for a unique blend of both genres, and you can play it now for free. Additionally, in Terra, you can team up with friends to take down big-ass monsters or put your combat skills to the test against other players in one of the many PvP battlegrounds Terra offers. Customize your choice of seven character races and nine classes with unique battle styles, fight thousands of monsters throughout a variety of landscapes, and embark on thousands of quests in a game world rich in history and lore. In a truly free-to-play experience, Terra imposes no artificial cap on classes, zones, or what you can do or how good you can be. All of the content in the game can be experienced without paying a single penny. To support with the continued development of Terra, we offer account services and cosmetic items like costumes, accessories, weapons, skins, mounts, and more. We heard players on Steam really like hats. Whether you fight as part of a guild or join an alliance, being part of Terra's vibrant community means there's always someone to share your journey with. So I looked at the reviews on Steam and overwhelmingly the, the results are this is a very positive game. People enjoy this game. People enjoy this free-to-play MMO and that's something that you can't often find online. Generally, whenever you're talking to MMOs, uh, it's stuff like Elder Scrolls Online. It's stuff like uh, World of Warcraft. It's things like this that really get the limelight. And I had honestly never heard of Terra before I looked into it, but it seems like it does have a quote unquote thriving community. Uh, so if you are looking for something like this to play on a console, then you can try out this action MMO by the name of Terra coming out on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One this week, again, for free, which is, that's cool, zero dollars. Yeah. Next up, we have another Vita game that's also coming to the Switch by the name of Penny Pinching Princess. In a world ruled by capitalism, cash is king. Use the money you gather to bribe enemies to fight for you, activate deadly traps with your dough, and when all else fails, smash all that stand against you with your fist. Fight your way from nothing and amass treasures to take on the mighty Dragalon family. Did I say that correctly? Yeah, I sure did. And reclaim your kingdom. 
And to wrap it all up, some honorable mentions. First off, we have Hades Betrayal DLC coming out for Raiders of the Broken Planet, uh, which is a game on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And on top of that, we also have this little game by the name of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim VR coming out to the PC uh, after it has spent a long time on the PS4 as a PSVR exclusive title. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, drop it a like down below. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all of the new content that does roll out of the channel. And if you really like like, if you're really digging it, you can hit that notification bell. Get a little thing that pops up on your phone, lets you know whenever I talk to you. It's going to be a cool thing. But anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks again for watching the video, and have a fantastic rest of the week. Peace.